Hi boys and girls. Today we're gonna work on some easy math skills and have a lot of fun. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm so excited to work on some easy math skills with you today. But first, we have to sing our welcome song. Let's take a deep breath together. <sighs> Thank you. Hello, preschool friends, how are you? Good, good. Hello, preschool friends, how are you? Good, good. It is time to start our day. We are here to learn and play. Hello, preschool friends, how are you? Good, good. Thank you for singing with me. So today we're gonna do some early math skills. You might be wondering, what's math? Well, math is how we understand numbers. And understanding numbers can help us solve problems and understand the world around us. Now, hopefully you've seen the video where we talked about counting and we counted turtles. If you haven't seen that, you might wanna go back and look at that first. But if you have, let's keep working here. Now, maybe this will feel a little hard for you. If it is, that's okay. You can do hard things. Maybe you just need to work a little bit at it, practice it a little bit more, or get a little bit older. It's okay. You may not be able to do it yet, but you will someday. So first, we're gonna talk about more or less. Now, in front of me, you see some stacks of blocks. In this stack, there's one, two blocks. And in this stack, there's one, two, three, four, five. Which stack of blocks has more? Did you say this stack? That's right. The taller stack, the stack with five blocks, has more. And the smaller stack, the stack with two blocks has less. You can count more or less in your house too. More just means you have a bigger number of something. Maybe when you're eating something yummy like strawberries, you might ask for more. You want more strawberries. This side has more blocks. Let's do another one. I'm gonna move these blocks down and you'll see what I have here. I have some oranges. So over here, these are gonna roll around, aren't they? Let's see if you can see my oranges. Now, which pile of oranges has more? This side or this side? Did you say this side? You're right, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and over here is one, two. Six is more than two. There's more oranges in this pile. Now sometimes there are so many things that you can't even count them, and then you can use what's called estimating. Estimating is a big word for making a guess. When you guess something, you might not know the answer, but you're probably pretty close. Now, when you see a lot of something, like over here, look at my blue flowers. There's a lot of blue flowers on this side. And on this side, there are red flowers. Which side has more flowers? That's right, the blue flowers. But you didn't have to count them. You could use your eyes to make an estimation. You made a guess. It's okay to make a guess and be wrong. Making guesses is very brave, and making guesses is how we learn. So don't be afraid to make a guess. Now let's do some more estimation. Over here you have some stars, and over here you have some stars. Which side has more stars? That's right, this side has more stars, and this side has less stars. You used your eyes to look at the whole picture instead of needing to count. You made an estimation. You made a good guess. Good job. Now let's put away my oranges and do something else. Now I want to talk about another early math skill. It's called adding. Adding means taking two numbers and putting them together to get a bigger number. 
we can add with our fingers. On this hand, I'm showing two fingers, one, two, and on this hand, I have two fingers, one, two. When I put them together, I have one, two, three, four fingers. You can count on your fingers too. Let's do some more adding. Over here, I have three cookies, one, two, three, and over here, I have two cookies, one, two. You put them together and let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Two cookies plus three cookies equals five cookies. Let's try another one. Let's do frogs. Let's count our frogs. Over here, I have five frogs. One, two, three, four, five. And over here, I also have five frogs. One, two, three, four, five. Whew, those are big numbers. Let's put them together and see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five frogs plus five frogs equals ten frogs. So when you add things together, you just sort of put them together and count them all up. You can do it at home. You can count up how many blocks that you have. You can count up your trucks. You can take cars and dolls and put them together and see how many toys you have. It's not that hard to do adding, but sometimes it takes a little practice. Now I wanna show you something. This is an egg carton. If you eat eggs at home, you might have one of these. Now, ask a grown-up to cut off the last row from your egg carton so that you have 10 holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I call this a 10 frame because there's 10 holes in it. And what's cool is that you can use a 10 frame to work on your early math skills. So I have some plastic colored eggs in here and I'm gonna put them in my 10 frame. I'm gonna put three here, one, two, three, and I'm gonna put two here, one, two. So I have three plus two, but now I'm gonna count them all together. One, two, three, four, five. Wasn't that fun? Now I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna fill up my 10 frame even more. Let's see what I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven eggs, but I need some more to fill up my 10 frame. Let's see how many more eggs I need to fill up my 10 frame. I have seven, eight, nine, 10. I filled up my 10 frame and I put one, two, three eggs in there. So seven, plus three equals 10. So you can play around with your 10 frame and add up and see how many ways you can get to 10. Another thing I like to do when I'm working on early math skills is to make an adding plate. Ask your grown-up to help you make an adding plate. This is just a paper plate that we had in our house. And I drew a line, oops, it's upside down. I drew a line here with the plus sign for adding and a line down here, and I'll show you how we can do it. Right now I have some buttons. I have some white buttons and some red buttons. I hope you can see that. Okay, so I'm gonna put two white buttons over here and two red buttons over here. One, two, plus one, two. And then I just move them all down into the equal side. One, two, three, four. Isn't that fun? Let's do that again. I'm gonna get some more and see if you can help me figure out how many of my buttons are there. So let's count together. One, two, three. Now help me count the red ones. One, two, three. This one fell down. Four. So three plus four, let's move them down and see what we have. Let's count them together. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three plus four equals seven. Now, if you don't have any buttons at home or you don't have any plastic eggs, you can use anything else. Do you like playing with Legos? You can use Lego figures. Do you like playing with little dinosaurs? You can put little dinosaurs in there. You can put whatever you want on your adding plate or in your 10 frame. Whatever makes you happy and helps you have fun while you're learning. Wow, we worked really hard today on our early math skills. First, we talked about more or less. Then we talked about estimating or making guesses and how that helps you understand more or less. And we worked on your early adding skills. You did a great job helping me add with the 10 frame and the adding plate. You can add and count at home. You can count anything. You can count the cereal you're eating, the books that you have, the toys that you have, add them together and work on those skills so that when you get older, you can work on more and different math things that are so important to understanding the world around you. Now it's time to sing our goodbye song. We have Tucker here. Are you ready, Tucker? Yep. <laughs> bye bye, see you again, hope to see you soon. Bye bye, see you again, hope to see you soon. Goodbye friends, see you next time. Hey Tucker, did you know that if you hit that subscribe button, you will never miss an episode of 10 Minute Preschool? That's right. So you hit that subscribe button right now and you will see all the newest episodes right when they come out. See you next time.